And now it's time for a very special dessert. Who doesn't love s'mores? S'mores are more. So it's a little daunting to make dessert for 18 kids, right? So here we go. It's three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. It's three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And then it's two sticks of butter. And make sure the butter always is at room temperature. Because you want to make sure that the butter gets incorporated with the sugar. To this, we will add two eggs. One, two. So here's a teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is what makes it a s'more cookie. Look at these. I use one package out of a box of graham crackers. It's a great stress reliever. So we're gonna mix this in with our batter, and then we're going to mix in three cups of flour. And then again, go very slowly, incorporating the flour with the batter, or it will be all over the kitchen. These cookies are gonna taste just like a s'more. Let's make some more. And I'm using about a tablespoon of batter. Make sure you give them enough space because they're going to spread out and fit 12. We're going to just take a little marshmallow cream. This is genius, if I don't say so myself. These cookies are delicious and easy to make. You cannot mess these up. Now, here comes the really good part. A little piece of milk chocolate and a little piece of graham cracker. Oh, don't these look wonderful? I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and these are going to go in for seven minutes. The s'more cookies are out of the oven and I can't wait to taste one. The cookie is crisp and the marshmallow is gooey. This might be even better than a s'more. Okay, girls, take a cookie. You think that they taste like s'mores? Uh-uh. This is delicious. Thank you very much. I would definitely have these again. Oh, good girl. <laughs> <laughs>